What's up YouTube, Retro Bro here, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this one out, but when I really opened my eyes about the Kingdom Hearts franchise, it's really no different than what a lot of these companies are doing with microtransactions, and it's actually frustrating now that I really think about what they've been doing, and I don't know whether I should support the franchise anymore, and that kind of bothers me because I enjoy some of the games. But Retro, all the Kingdom Hearts games are full games. And I expected you to say this comment section, so let me explain where I'm coming from because I was prepared for you to say this anyhow. So look at it like this. Kingdom Hearts has been out for about 10 years or so now. Actually longer because Kingdom Hearts 2 came out in 2005, which means that Kingdom Hearts 1 was obviously earlier than that. But anyway, the point is you had Kingdom Hearts 1, right? We enjoyed that. Some of us enjoyed that game. Well, a lot of us enjoyed that game and then found out that there was like additional content in Kingdom Hearts 1.5 Remix. Now, for those of you that don't know, the additional content is not just like extra fights, but it's also extra story. So if you didn't purchase that game, you now miss some of the story. Same thing with Kingdom Hearts 2. You beat the game, thought you got the whole story, and no, then Remix 2.5 comes out, not only give you more fights, but again, more story. Not to mention that there's a bunch of these 3DS games that weren't that great that had canon story material. Like, let's be honest, who really likes Chain of Memories? Like, I mean, there's a couple of people that do, but it wasn't that great of a game. Recoded, hated that game too. 350 eight games days was actually a game i liked but if you look on the internet a lot of people's opinion is that they hated that game and i actually thought that was better than the other two now dream drop that game was fantastic that game is outstanding like i'm actually still playing that game even though i beat it like dream drop is amazing that was a good game and the one on psp birth by sleep was good too so i would say kingdom hearts one Kingdom Hearts 2, Birth by Sleep, and Dream Drop. Out of all those games, I don't want to count the remixes because they were the same game with a little added content, but cost you the same price as the original game at that, which was still another $50. Now, for those of you that don't know, I'm a hardcore Kingdom Hearts fan, and I actually have all these games, so it's also really frustrating to know that you have all these people now that are just buying these little new remixes that are coming with the additional games that I paid 40 to 50 dollars for and for 50 bucks they're getting two or three of them all together and that's just unacceptable like the though I enjoy the games that's terrible customer service and I feel like I shouldn't support it even though I like the game like let's think of it from a perspective of another item that's non-gaming related if you are a fan of basketball sneakers and you bought Jordans, which is $200, which is really expensive, right? Then your next new pair of Jordans would be another $200, right? Expect it, understandable. But if you bought Jordans for $200, then when the next new pair of Jordans came out, they were like, hey, for $200, not only will you get these new Jordans, but we'll give you last year's pair of new Jordans with that too. So now for $200, you're getting two pairs of Jordans, last year's and the new ones. Do you know how pissed people would be if that happened? Like only in the gaming community can customers be disrespected and slapped in the face to this point and it'd be all right. Like any other customer of any other thing, shoes, sneakers, music would not take this crap. And I feel like we shouldn't either. I like the game and I want it, but it frustrates me that this is something we have to deal with. And I honestly don't know whether I should support it anymore. Anyhow, let me know how you feel in the comment section below but i've been retro bro and i am signing out like the video well why don't you check out ronretrobro.com where i showcase my favorite youtubers videos from subscribers like yourself 
the latest in news. You can listen to the music I'm bumping, and I post my blog stories and news entries here. It's a place for us gamers to kind of get to know each other more and kind of let smaller YouTubers like us get better noticed. <laughs>